I almost made the same mistake. Again, I almost didn't delete the players. And also there was a roster update, apparently five days ago. So I have the latest roster now and deleted the poise players uh, from that experiment. But yeah, let's go ahead and do this draft today. So I'm going to be doing the best shot draft. So obviously, got to draft the players that have the best shot. So you can sort by the categories. Five stars is the best. Half a star is the worst. I don't think there is such a thing as zero star. Maybe there is, but I believe half a star is probably the worst you can get. Anyways, yeah, so uh, we pretty much just have to sort by the best shot, and whoever's in that category is who we can pick from, depending on how many defensemen and stuff there are in that category. I might sort of make it so that I can go to defensemen specifically and sort by the shooting category, so that way we at least get six defensemen properly. Um, but yeah, we'll see if it comes to that or not, but just a little forewarning that that might be the case should we need it. And then for goalies, I can just pick whoever I want. So yeah, here we go. Randomize the team. I'm going to look at you guys. I actually had a huge upset victory in fantasy. Well, I was going to say this week, but boom, uh, Ooh, the Oilers. Okay. Um, it, it's definitely not this week because <laughs> it's last week as of when I'm recording this, and this probably won't go up for another week or two, so just know that I was like 5 and 8, I think, or no, I was, I might, I think I was 4 and 9, something bad, something bad, anyway, and I was going up against 11 and 1, and I emerged victorious, so that's huge, uh, but anyway, yeah, we are gonna do this draft here, career, we are going to turn off owner mode, turn on fantasy draft, don't want the coach to edit my lines. Computers can trade all they want. I'm going to turn off player morale because someone has turned me off of it in the comments saying it's kind of a broken system. So, yeah, let's get away from that. And before I forget, let's go ahead and turn off injuries as well. Quick settings. Injuries are off. All right. And then I do some advanced settings here as well. Typically, I go down here. I leave those on. Uh, waiver notifications, stars only. Trade offers, stars only and head coach i sometimes leave it on sometimes i don't but yeah that's pretty much it okay let's go ahead and start career what position do you think we're gonna get i'm gonna say 12 just a random shot in the dark here and we get 25 not even close I mean, if you double mine i was pretty close so yeah we are near the tail end here Pedersen has just gone so shooting here we go we do have a bunch of five stars here um wow Holy crap, there's a lot more five stars than I thought there would be. Okay, interesting. Kaprizov, ooh, okay. We we have some very good players to choose from here. Who will I take? And you know what? I kind of want to take someone that I don't normally draft. Pointer is, you know, sometimes. Kyle Connor's sick. I would love to draft Connor, but hmm. You know what? I am going to go with Kirill the Thrill. Screw it. First overall pick, 88 overall, Kirill the Thrill. Boom. We're going to get another pick pretty close to this as well. So we are definitely going to have a lot of wonderful players to choose from still. And we have a left winger. So John Carlson actually has... Yeah, I might go after Carlson. You know what? That's not a bad idea. 8 million and a 90 overall defenseman. Besser is actually not making a whole lot. I thought he'd be making more than that. But anyway, yeah, I'm going to take Carlson as a defenseman here. That's... Very impressive that he has five-star shooting. There's only two players with five-star shooting left. Oh, man, we're probably going to have to end up taking Sagan, honestly. But I am going to take Malkin. Our salary is getting destroyed at the moment. So we're going to have to try to make some budget plays later where possible. Is Sagan gone? No, he's not. So I'm going to take a goalie, use this opportunity to draft a netminder, who is hopefully not making a whole lot. Darcy Kemper is the first one that grabbed my attention. But Mackenzie Blackwood at 2.8 is even more appetizing. And I'm pretty sure I've drafted him before and he did quite well. So I am going to take Mr. Mac attack. I mean, there's probably another Mac attack. But anyway, yeah, uh, we're going to take Sagan, aren't we? Oh, he's gone. He's actually gone. All right, so we're at four and a half star here. Uh, Victor Olafson. He's only making three million. 85 overall. Why is he not gone yet? And he's got four and a half star. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and take him. And I'm kind of hoping that Tyson Berry's still going to be there. Because I want to draft him as well. So here we go. And he's gone. <laughs> In that short amount of time, he got taken. Are you kidding me? Okay, well, Toffoli, 
Next best. Boom. There it is. So we got Burns, Radulov, and Kessel left. Um, I'm assuming we're probably going to have to take all of these guys. It's probably going to come down to that, which is going to be 20 mil worth of cap. Don't like that. But, you know, we don't have a choice. So if we do have to go way over the cap, then it is what it is. I'm going to try my best, guys. But, yeah, sometimes it's just simply not possible with the stipulation at hand. So I'll take Phil the Thrill now. Oh, I should have taken another goalie, but I don't think I don't think anyone's gonna take Burns anyway. And Kessel pretty much never goes either. So yeah, I'm pretty confident I'm gonna be stuck with them no matter what. And I am gonna take Jack Campbell. Why is he still here? 1.6 million, 84 overall. Uh, yeah. Okay, we are gonna be going down to the four-star shooting category after Brent Burns, and hopefully we can find some good deals because we need him. All right, four-star. How many is there? There seems to be like, oh, Yarn Crook. It's already at 2 mil. That's a good deal. And then we also got Carter only making 2.6. That's a good deal as well. Howla at 3. Okay, we got some, some good contracts here. I like it a lot. We definitely can get within the cap. And I'm going to do my best to ensure that that comes to fruition. And I'm going to take Yarn Crook as the first player there. That's nice. And let's start by shooting again. Try to find another... Fairly good deal here. Tomas Tata. He's doing all right this year, I think, isn't he? Or maybe not. I'm not too sure, honestly. Uh, we got Kalorn. And we got Fabry. I don't take Fab. Yeah, you know what? I never take him, pretty much. So I'm going to take him. I'm pretty sure we already have four left wingers. Yeah. And we have one centerman. So, Jeff Carter, if you're still here, dude. Same with Howla. And it looks like Carter's gone. But luckily, we still have Eric Howla. So I'll draft him as our second centerman. Oh, I guess there was four star off the screen that I didn't see. Okay, well, I'm going to take Jeff Carter now then, because that's a very good deal. And yeah, he's a centerman, which we need. So we have $12 million of cap space left. There's still no shot that we can make this work. Um, but we do need two more forwards. And then we need four more defensemen. So yeah, it's not going to happen, the cap thing, but... We did our best. I tried to take some budget picks, and we are stuck here with these guys now. Unless we do what I said. Like, if I go to defenseman, for example, then we can sort by defenseman with the most here. And then we get, like, someone like Chara, Logan Stan. Oh, actually, there's a lot of players here making nothing. So even if we... We might be able to cut it close. We might be able to cut it close. So I'll take Dadanov first of all. Yeah, we'll take Dadanov. And then I guess we'll take Hornquist because he's making less. And then we'll try to take some super budgeted defensemen to really put our best effort forth. Okay, well, I have to take Hornquist anyway. So there it is. And now we need defensemen. So let's go to defensemen. Sort by the shooting category. And Stanley. There you go. Yep, that's a budget pick, all right. I was going to say where'd they all go, but there's probably so many. Like, off the screen. Yeah, okay. So we've got quite a few. That is not a defenseman. Defenseman. Okay, we are here. <laughs> there is a lot. That explains everything. Sammy Vatanen, the Vatanen imposter. Okay, well, let's take Chara. 750k. We are going to go over the cap, but it's going to be barely. So I'm, I'm happy with that. At least we are getting close. And two more defensemen. So I'll try to take two more under a mil players, which is not going to be very hard. Will we be a good team? I'm not promising anything, but at least we will have tried our best to remain cap compliant. Sammy Vatanen. Um, I'm trying to think here. Do I want to take Hunt? I think Hunt is doing all right. Uh, what kind of defenseman is he? Two-way offensive defenseman from Chris Weidman. Offensive, offensive. Okay, you know what? I am going to take Hunt for now. And then I guess we have to take an offensive defenseman pretty much. At least that's the way it seems to finish off our team. So shooting. And who do we have on defense? Probably the same guys. Yeah. So should I just go with Vatanen? You know what? I'm going to take Weidman. Just because. Why not? All right. We're a little over the cap. But I think we did quite well considering. Time to do best lines and nothing else because it will simply ruin the team. I'm trying to make sure that we have everyone that should be there. Why? Like, why? No. 
Absolutely not. You know what? I'm just, screw you. <laughs> this thing sucks. Uh, Dadanov. Uh, it's not really helping. I can move Patty Horns down. Number 69, Attaboy. Um, that doesn't really help. That does not really help. Uh, okay, I think it's just a lost cause, but I'll take minus one on the final one there. But man, oh man, that is irritating that it wants minus three and it says that's the best lines. Give me a break. And if I do that, I'm not going to do it. Nope, no, no, no. I'm just, I just don't want that minus three. That's all. And then Blackwood, Campbell. So I know those are the two goalies we took for sure. Um, let me just actually do it from here. So yeah, these guys, definitely not. Uh, all skaters. Actually, I can just go to Scratch and see if there's anyone there that I recognize. Oh, it's just these two. So yeah, it should be everyone we drafted then. It looks legit. Okay, I think we're good. So I'm going to say that Kaprizov gets the most points with 85. And I'm going to say the team gets... I'm going to say the team gets 49 wins. Don't forget to leave your predictions down below. And I guess edit your comment afterwards to say how close you were. Or you could just do it in your head now and, you know, go about it after. But it's up to you, really, how you want to do it. It's just fun. You know, why not? It's just a fun challenge. Just nothing at stake except for feeling like you're an absolute boss if you get it right. Or even if you get it close to right, because you're just like, oh, man, I was like one off. It gives you something else to cheer for, you know? <laughs> what a weird record. 8, 5, and 6. 9, 5, and 6. Get another overtime loss just to make it that much weirder. Shootout win. All right, there's another win. 12, 5, and 6. Ooh, okay, we're going on a bit of a run here. Yeah, 13, 5, and 8. <laughs> oh, my word. It's such a weird record, but I'm totally down. Get as many overtime losses over regular losses as you can. You know what? Just because I'm not going to remember these numbers at all. So you guys are going to have to tell me if I'm right or not. But I'm just going to try to guess our goalie save percentages too. I'm going to say that Mac Attack has a 9-12. And then I'm going to say Jack Campbell is backup. Who will probably play like low 20 games. If that. I'll say... Well, they're pretty equal in overall. They might split duties a little bit more than that. But anyway... I'll say a 921 for Jack. I don't know. I think he's going to kill it. We will go into the trade deadline just to see who's available, but obviously we can't really trade for anyone because, you know, how are we supposed to know who was available at the draft at the time? Um, unless we could just do whatever, but I, the team's doing well. There's no reason to make any moves. So let's just go to the deadline anyway, see what's going on. Tuka, uh, Latang, Kemper, Mackenzie Weger. We got Voracek, EK65, the other Carlson. Um, Raquel, Manson, and Ristolainen. Okay. Yeah, it's a pretty decent trading block, I would say. A lot of quality players there. Wow, that's a big one. I feel like... I feel like Carolina got fleeced. They got rid of Mackenzie Weger, William Carlson, and Scott Mayfield for Genther and Winterton. Okay. 10-1 win over the Sharks. That is massive. We are actually doing a pretty good job at scoring goals. And as I say that, we get shut out 5 nothing. But okay. Well, I'll just never speak again. So 49 wins is off the table. That's not happening. President's Trophy, not within reach. But still a good season nonetheless. So let's stop the simulation actually and go look at some of the season statistics and see how everything went. So why does my microphone quality look so low? I don't know. Never mind. Still recording from the proper device of the volume. No, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Hopefully it comes out all right. But let's have a look here. So, oh, I was right with 85, but it was Malkin, not Kaprizov, who got 73. Yeah, right. All right, let's see the league standings. We had 45 wins overall, which we actually passed the Kraken last second to win the Pacific Division. Pittsburgh won the President's Trophy. Let's see who the last team to make it in is. Is it top 16? Nope, it is. Okay. I was going to say, I thought there was another one below them, but I guess not. The 19th placed Carolina Hurricanes make it in. You'll love to see it. I'm just going to view the lines of the President Trophy winners quick before we move on to the individual stats. So we got Arvidsson, Pedersen, and Miller. Connor Brown with Kadri and Tuck. Wow, they have a really good offense. Palmieri with Lawton and Benson. And then Borgstrom with Glenn Denning and Colin Blackwell. On defense, they got McDonough and Cernak. Savard Hughes on the second pair. That's insulting. And then Edmondson with Vlasic. And in net, they had Leonard and Allen. So, yeah, they do have a pretty good team. Got to hand it to them. 
Let's go look at the individual stats now, though, for the league as well as our goalies. So there you go. Who had the least points on our team? Let's find out. Weidman with nine. That's all right. Logan Stanley had nine as well. Let's go to goalies. So we had a 906 from Blackwood, and I'm pretty sure I guessed a 921 from Campbell or something like that. I guess a 912 from uh, Blackwood. So yeah, I was kind of close with Campbell, I believe. And 34, 18, and 9, three shutouts. And then 11, 6, and 4 with three shutouts as well. And it took him <laughs> a lot less games to get those three shutouts. But anyways, let's look at the entire league, shall we? Boom. Here we go. Robin Leonard, 42 wins, led the league. 42, 19, and 5. He only had four shutouts on the year with a 918. Any goalies on here with 800 save percentage? Nope. Um, okay, there you have it. Let's have a look at the forwards, and then we will look at defensemen. So Brad Marchand with the Art Ross, and he did it in convincing fashion, has 16 more points than the second-placed Alex Ovechkin. Uh, Blake Wheeler with 94, Patty Kane 92, Drysaddle 91. Where is McTavid? There he is. He got 87 this year for the Islanders. Okay, check out defensemen now. Defense. Hayskin put up 78, almost point a game defenseman. A nice amount of assists, too. Good for you. Uh, Hedman, 74. Quinn Hughes on the second pair put up a nice amount of points. Uh, Yossi, 66. Okay. Yep. Very nice. Let's go ahead and start the playoffs. Here we go, folks. Is it going to be a first round upset? Okay. That's a good start. 2 1, 3 1. Ooh, okay. A 4 1 win over the Sharkies. We get the Mighty Ducks of Anaheim next. And. I was going to say they destroyed us, but hello? That comeback is insane. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we weren't going to do it again. We got destroyed. Did Pittsburgh win the Stanley Cup as well? It's a game seven. And Calgary ends up taking it home. Wow. Game seven. Calgary is your Stanley Cup champions. We have almost a point a game from Carlson in the playoffs. What a mad lad. Yeah, let's go ahead and look at the stats real quick. So I want to go check out Calgary's roster as well. So... Let's go ahead and do that. No, I don't want the AHL. Um, there we go. And it was Calgary. There you go. The Flums. We got Braden Shen, 72 points. Goudreau with a nice amount. Yossi, as we saw on the uh, defenseman list there. They picked up Sagan, who put up 65. He had a good year. Um, Zach Hyman with 59. Okay. So, yeah, they do have a very solid team here. My voice is quitting on me. That's awesome. And hella bucket net. So, that definitely helps. Vladar is the backup, and he had a 920-249. Yeah, six shutouts. Good for you, Mr. Hellebuck. It is award time. Stanley Cup, as we saw. Presidents, as we saw. And yeah, we know those. Okay, individual. Marchand with the Art Ross and the Hart. Quinn Hughes with the Norris on the second pairing. Unbelievable. Patrick Kane with the Lady Bing. Lundell with the Calder. Hellebuck with the Conn Smythe and the Vesna. The Jennings goes to Anderson. Carlo with the Masterton. Burgundy, Ron Burgundy with the Jack Adams, Kopitar with the Selkie, Marchand with the Lindsay, and Ovi with the Rocket Richard. There you have it. Okay, let's end it on the playoff tree here. I don't think I'm forgetting anything. Pittsburgh, they went to seven games in every single series. That is crazy. And the only series Calgary didn't was against us when they plowed through us in the conference finals. So yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, let me know which category you want to do next, or if you have another draft idea, go ahead and let me know that as well. Um, I appreciate you. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I'll see you soon.